Jesus' act of entering into the boat of Simon Peter is Jesus' way of saying to Simon and to us that he is choosing Simon to lead his church and that he will be with the church that Simon leads. Dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel passage, we find Jesus as he goes about doing his ministry, going towards the sea and then asking his disciples to prepare a boat for him so that he can continue to minister to the large crowd from the boat. Now here is something interesting. If we look at the gospels closely, we find that boats play a significant role in Jesus' ministry. Somehow, this simple object, that is a boat, and specifically the boat belonging to Peter, is often the location for many wondrous and miraculous moments in the Gospels. Now, this may seem like a mere coincidence, but it isn't. Sure, we may say that people used boats frequently to travel and earn their living at the time and place that Jesus preached, but there is something deeper in the image of the boat in the Bible and its constant use by Jesus in his ministry. This is made more clear when we look at the incident of Jesus calling his first disciples. In Luke chapter 5, when Jesus calls his first disciples, he comes to the seashore and finds two different boats there owned by two different people. But Jesus chooses to get into and use Simon's boat specifically. It isn't a coincidence that the boat belonged to Simon, since we know that Jesus as God already knew he was getting into Simon's boat. Jesus then, by coming into Simon's boat, was implicitly saying to Simon, I choose you. Choose Simon to be what? The leader of his church. We know this because it is the same Simon who is later named explicitly by Jesus in Matthew chapter 16 as the foundation and leader of his church, or in other words, the first Pope. So if Simon Peter is the leader or captain of Jesus' church, then what does the boat captained by Peter represent? The church led by Peter, or in other words, the Catholic Church. From early on, those who have studied the scriptures have seen Peter's boat as an image of the Catholic Church. Therefore, Jesus' act of entering into the boat of Simon Peter is Jesus' way of saying to Simon and to us that he is choosing Simon to lead his church and that he will be with the church that Simon leads. Looking further at the relationship between Jesus and Peter's boat, we find that Jesus travels to numerous places on this boat, signifying how Jesus would later on be carried to the whole world by the church through the preaching of the gospel. We also find that Jesus often taught his followers from the boat. This again shows how Jesus would continue to teach his people from within the Catholic Church and its teaching office. And we can find many more such interesting links between Jesus and Peter's boat in the Gospels. My dear brothers and sisters, all this points to the fact that Jesus continues to be with his Catholic Church, even today. Sometimes when we see the scandals and problems that happen in the Church, we can get discouraged or lose faith in the Church. This is because we often forget that though it is his weak disciples who steer and manage the boat, it is Jesus who is ultimately in control and who guides and protects the church. The church, therefore, is our safety because, like a boat, it carried us over the waters, the rough and deep waters, the destructive storms and the opposing winds to the safety of heaven through the sacraments and the teachings of Christ. This is why Christ gave us the gift of the church. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us always be thankful to Jesus for the gift of his Catholic Church, 
let us never lose faith in the church even in times of trial at such moments of hopelessness let us remind ourselves that jesus chose the boat of peter which means he will never abandon it amen